start streaming. Are we good? Are we lit? We're lit. Okay, we are off and running. Let's throw the phone on to get a couple of viewers. Oh, I keep uh, forgetting to post on Facebook. Up, people. Let me just throw a little post up. It says, "Don't worry, your sexy little heads." I'm here. Bump, 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 bump. What's up? Hang on a minute. Just dropping a little Facebook post here. Uh, <laughs> Twitch. Twitch Creative. Dude, typing on a phone is so antiquated. Yeah, my public feed. The hell, Zuckerberg? The GIMP! What's up, man? I'm at work. I'm lurking. Lurk away! Lurk away! That is A-OK. -okay. Damn, let's throw some devils out there. It's all about the devil. Devil of a gunman. Oh, I really... What the hell is wrong with... Oh, sorry. The world was crooked. There we go. That was some crazy shit. Oh, no. Let's move this down. There we go. I moved my desk all around, so... Sorry. There we go. Had to let those Facebook peeps know that I'm on air. And we're painting some cool shit. Are we? Throw that up there. All right, I can hear myself on my phone. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's paint this pussy. All right. So yesterday, we, uh, well, it was black and white yesterday, so we established our background colors, we brought in some homeless man pee, and then we decided to jump right into the cat. Got the plastic uh, kind of cream color going on of our, uh, our reference cat here. Little kitty. And uh, then dropped in the purple hair, and the idea is he kind of like jumped into it like a transformer jumps into a car. And then, like, certain sections of them just turned into fur, so. Um, but you do have some of the painted, you know, decorative features on, on the uh, cat. And then we went for it with the turtle, this guy. Um, I think we decided he's either uh, savagely insane, getting poked in the butt, or he is very shocked or scared. Maybe we'll figure that out in its uh, entirety uh, this stream. I'm going to jump in and do these orchid, uh, orchids, orchids, and um, that was a mix between orchid and orca. I think a whale orchid might be a cool painting. Let's put that on the list. We're going to go ahead and do these up in orange to contrast the, um, the blues. And then I have this lovely magenta and purple that I'm going to use uh, on these octopus tentacles here. So uh, I'm going to kind of bring in a little bit of some layers and, and, and then see what I like as far as the orange on these orchi orchids. orchids. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and detail them out. And uh, uh, I think we'll do a, maybe a little bit of lime green and some hookers green, whether we need it or not. It's fun to say uh, for these little buds here. So 
Um, and then after that, I will figure out what we're going to do with the background. We may just drop a big red streak down the middle with two gold flanks and then two little gold flanks on the side, maybe a red in the middle. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. Jake Hudson, man. Thank you for the uh, uh, host. That's what I meant. <laughs> I have trouble with those big words sometimes. So how you doing? The big words. Host got four letters. <laughs> well, and actually it said host did, so I even uh, to that. Got my coffee. Last night it was PBR. Tonight, unfortunately, it has to be coffee because after I'm done streaming, I have to uh, come up with a financial plan for my business and a bunch of nerdy work. So, But that's okay. Doing good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Thanks for joining us and or joining me. And Sugar. Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. He's back here. Sugar's going to be working on music tonight. So these fresh beats that you're going to hear tonight are all uh, the work of this man. If you go to my YouTube channel or SeanDietrichArt.com or even on my feed, I update, uh, uploaded all my time lapses. Uh, six of them were custom rolling trays, or five of them. And then one was uh, Honest Brutality, which was a tribute piece to my buddy's uh, heavy metal podcast. Um... But the time lapses, I love doing them, and the fact that uh, I'm kind of spoiled by having someone who can write awesome music, and I don't have to, like, rip off Enya or something like that for the background, it's awesome. So, in my palette, high-class palette, oh, you found me through the Jub-Jub, nice, awesome, that dude's cool as hell. I love streaming and then going over to the Jub Jub because it's like I can chill out and just watch like my childhood flash across the screen. That's what I told him today. Simpsons, old 8-bit gaming, everything I grew up with. So, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm going to send him out a tapestry so he can hang it on his wall uh, behind him while he streams. I got uh, maybe not an 8-foot one like that because I don't think it would fit, but I got these 4-foot ones that will, uh, or 2-by-3-foot ones with some of my artwork, so... Awesome, awesome. I'm glad uh, I'm glad the Jub Jub is promoting. Uh, I think a paintbrush might help. Let's see if we can't get some brushes going here. So this is all acrylic paint and India ink, my Holbein ink, my pride and joy. I love that stuff. Let me just uh, and let me grab some paint water and we're off and running. So I really, I don't know if I want to do like a really toasted, like dark, dark orange. So I'm going to kind of fuck around and, and blend a little bit of these and start, you know, throwing the orange in to see what, what works. And I may even uh, just base this, uh, um, I'm going to take a little bit of orange and throw it into the, uh, the deep yellow. And we will see what we can get going here. So oh, I hear the big garage door coming down. Means it's time to get it to work. <laughs> so I'm in my brand new studio in Washington. It's a three bay. It used to be an old body shop, but we cleared it out. It's got like ten foot ceilings and up that way. Gutted this part. It's now the main section, but uh, there's also a middle bay that's going to be a gallery and a bar, and then a uh, and then a guest room. And uh, I'll be hosting artists eventually, too. Have them come up if you're in the area. Have some artists pop in and maybe do some collaborations and whatnot. So um, I am all about that. Prepping for my uh, fall U.S. tour right now. I take off in mid-September, heading out to Louisville, Kentucky for Louder Than Life, Urban and Beyond. I do live art at uh, big rock shows across the country and whatnot when I'm not uh, at home streaming. We're working on other various projects, but yeah. Instagram, if you like the social media stuff, just Sean Dietrich. Dietrich spelt diet rich. Sean spelt the right way, S E A N. And I always upload all my current art, travels, doings, goings on. There we go. So I don't want to get, you know, so I, I don't want to get too dark with the orange because I want to see what, you know, like right now that obviously is blending in too much with the cat. So I know we got to go a little bit darker on the orange back here. So, and this being as it's behind these two leaves will, uh, will definitely be a lot darker. So I could actually 
while it's still a little bit wet, go in with um, uh, some of the, uh, just this pure orange and kind of... Darkness. Speaking of darkness. Is there extra coffee? Or, like, did you yeah. Full pot? Yeah, there should be at least a cup if Rachel, I don't think Rachel's drinking coffee, so. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right there's coffee. Or there was, and Max and Byron may have gotten into it. <laughs> That's all I need, my, my five or six year old and his best friend on coffee. Whoa! The stream would end real quick. I gotta save the house. Yeah, so we'll just start building up layers because we want this one to be a little bit darker back here and then uh, come in with like um, a lighter color for the, four, uh, the front petals. And uh, kind of go from there. But, you know, originally, and this is how things change with these paintings, why I kind of like streaming, because I, I tend to talk through the painting a lot more. Otherwise, it just looks like a creepy dude not talking painting online. But it allows me, too, to go, oh, you know what? I originally wanted these, like, like a fuchsia color or whatnot. But now that I've put the greens and uh, blues in for the turtle, oranges, a very you know complimentary color to orange so I know it'll it'll work well um, and then back here are these octopus tentacles I think they're gonna be purple because purple octopuses are kind of cool so what do we got we got nice points Jacob's in 75 devil horns and rank 52 of the oh you got devil horns <laughs> I've been streaming for about seven weeks, so uh, as far as commands, I haven't put a lot in there, so uh, bear with me. I do have a lot of cool shit that I'm, uh, I'm working on, um, but I am a 20-year professional in the art industry. I worked on Twisted Metal for PlayStation. Uh, I got a mural at Facebook. I mean, I'm, I'm a no-joke artist, but uh, so finding the time to kind of, you know, beef up the chat as far as, you know, um, the store command and all that, SeanDietrichArt.com. If you go to the website, that is my store that will have everything. Uh, I have prints. I have reproductions. I have everything from, um, I have merchandise too, T-shirts. Uh, if you're into smoking, I got dab mats, dab rags. I got anti-slip mats for your glass. I have a whole line of uh, smoking accessories coming out for the cannabis industry, which I do a lot of work in and, uh, and whatnot. So apologize if some of the commands aren't um, bringing forth what you're asking. I will get there. But I did design my, my double emote. I made sure anybody who subs, you're going to get that bad boy right there, the licking devil. And then I have a few more being designed right now. I think one of them is a devil with a whiskey glass. and They'll all be devils. <laughs> I didn't even know what that devil horn thing is. Did I do that? <laughs> But yeah, this is, well, it's, uh, what is this, my eighth week streaming? No, I took a week off. It's my seventh week. I had a uh, family reunion to go to, but I'll just drop a little bit of orange in there. And again, doesn't matter if it goes over the black. The black is waterproof ink. Holbein, it's an amazing Japanese ink. Completely waterproof, most opaque ink you'll ever use. And... Uh, and I don't use black paint at all on these paintings. It's all ink. Gets into the tooth of the canvas real nice. Yeah, just kind of tap that in a little bit. And then we'll, go, we'll get some smaller brushes in uh, to do all the, the shading. So that's the tentacle behind there. Okay. I just pay someone to figure out my commands for me. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? I am doing well, man. How's it going with you? You working? 18 hour day? <laughs> I'm ready to finish this cat tonight, hopefully. Get started on the next one. And this one's, uh, no, let 
me grab one of the pipes so I can show you guys just to reiterate. This is a genius pipe. So these designs that I'm working on right now. Just 12. I'm all right. Frustrated. I'm sorry, dude. Well, this is your happy spot. Remember, we're going to be weird and you're going to feel good. So this is a genius pipe. For those who are new to the stream, you put your goodies here. This is the spy one, the James Bond version. Slide back, light it, draw from here, extinguish, put it in your pocket, and you're ready to go at the rock show. So they put art on these. <clears throat> I do have a whole line of them with my artwork. And uh, this one in particular is going to be a pipe. And then we, or I finished up the pipe and a crepe, scar and a waffle. Uh, we finished up the Red Queen last week. So this will be the, the first one in the Alice series, and then um, the second one in the Alice series. Well, I'm sorry you're frustrated, dude. The 12 hours, that seems like cake for you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's do a little, a little bit of splattering going on here. Just a tad. I could texture out these flowers a little bit. I'll grab a little. Uh... Two of my buddies follow you last night. In, uh, Mon Montana is that what MT or or uh, I'm I'm gonna mess that one up. Awesome. Yeah, I saw. I I think I logged off with 102 viewers and uh and I have like 100 or 104 uh, followers now. That's awesome. Thank you. You know, I appreciate uh, anybody who pushes people towards my stream so they too can be weird and come to a happy place. <laughs> That's what I want. I want people to have a good time. And we'll start just layering in like heavier and heavier orange here. And we'll kind of, you know, since it is a petal, it'll have like striations in it and so I'll, I'll fade it out almost like I'm, I'm painting in hair. <laughs> Trump anxiety disorder is now a real thing. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> Sounds pleasant. <laughs> There we go. All right. <coughs> and I think with some shadowing and detailing, this leaf will come out too. Um, I'll put a little shadow behind that cat as well. So I'm frustrated because I had a tub of 500 plus parts fall all over the floor and I don't want to pick them up. Fuck that. Don't you have somebody below you? Some guy who lost a bet? <laughs> hey, come on. I was a cook, man. We always waited for that new guy. Fryer, you're on the fry station. Oh, the fry, yeah, the fry cook. We, yeah. You're on fryer. We don't like you. <laughs> or, you're the, or you're the new guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're the grunt in this hellhole. All right, all right. Well, shit, man. How do we elevate you? You want me to call in? Give me a number. Yeah, I'm this guy's former boss. I heard he's got a shit job. So you better give him a better one. Or I'm going to do something. <laughs> yeah. Empty threats. We can make it happen. Come on. We'll do like a Jerky Boys uh, phone call here on, on the stream. <laughs> That'd be amazing. They'd probably fight. Oh, they wouldn't know. Oh, you mean if someone called in on your behalf, yeah. They'd be like, um, I don't know if we should have this guy around. But you never know. They might think, well, maybe we should and not tell them that we had a phone call and, <laughs> and just give them what that guy wants. <laughs> I'll let you know what day I call in and then, then you can dump that tub over again and tell your boss be like pick it up motherfucker <laughs> oh, I know things and I know you got a call 
<laughs> I know you got <laughs> I don't think they like me very much. You know what, dude? Most jobs I worked at, even if I did the best job possible, they just, you know, they didn't like me. Because even though I did my job, I wasn't a fucking yes man. Yeah. Is this the welder? Yeah, it's the welder. What? Start your own fucking business, man. Yeah, you do have a trade craft. I mean, I don't know what the market is, but, you know. Where, where, is, where does he live? He is, uh, let's see if I remember this, two hours east of oh, Omaha. Yeah, this yeah. is like, like six hours from Davenport. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna make you a steak, yeah, or buy you one, yeah, and you're gonna make him pasta or some shit. I'll make him whatever the fuck. <laughs> and he's a he. I got that right. <laughs> I only want them to like me enough to give me a raise. Here, here, fuck yeah. You wanna like me? Like me through my paycheck. Cause that's the best kind of liking at a job. The only kind of liking. I'm not sure a werewolf. Isn't that a lichen? Ooh, we got weird. God, man, I remember the days when I was a cook and, like, I got to sit down and have a performance review for, like, a 15 cent an hour raise. I'm like, like, what does that equate to? Like, a pair of shoes per year? <laughs> or something. <laughs> like, what's the you point? Shoes at, Walmart, like me. at least you're a welder. You probably make a shitload more than I did as a, just, I mean, I had dumb jobs. I had no skill jobs, like record store manager. Do you know who Pearl Jam is? Yeah, you're hired. That was my interview. Here's the keys to the safe, and we need to, you to fill out a cash report, even though you failed math. <laughs> oh, you're an artist? You must be great with numbers. <laughs> I mean, now I'm pretty good, but not that level. I'm not Ponzi scheme level. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm here to make money, not friends, so I don't care. Dude, you fit right in. You sound like you should be over here right now hanging out with Sugar and I. Yeah, fuck that. Talking, talking shit about people. <laughs> <laughs> and all the garbage jobs that we've had. <laughs> yeah, all right, that orange will work. Definitely. That looks better on camera. Maybe I'll carry this camera around when I put this up in the art gallery and be like, here, look through this camera. It'll look better. We got the gimp lurking tonight. Lurking. We like when the gimp lurks. <clears throat> I've, I've been to nightclubs like that. <laughs> Where there's a, there's a gimp lurking in the corner. <laughs> Batcave in Hollywood. <laughs> there he is. Medusa Lounge. What's what's the Bar Sinister? That's the big one in uh, in L.A. Yeah. That one's pretty cool. <clears throat> Drank there one night with what Hansel and Gretel, Throw Pill Call. I think Ministry was there. <clears throat> Yeah, look at that. Jesus, man. The Gim Taco. <laughs> Boom. What else do I have? I got no good. Here's my emotes. I got craze. I got sway shots and pork hearts. <laughs> Pork's the shit. Amazing artist. And he just... Oh, I don't do it for a living. He's one of the people that needs to be... I've been thinking about moving somewhere bigger and trying to make more. Do it, man. Get the fuck out of there. I left home when I was 18. I got kicked out, and it was awesome. Best thing ever. I don't even know if my parents know this story, but I'll tell you guys. So when they uh, kicked me out, it was some weird misunderstanding, and, and they, you know, they went out of town and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Anyways, I think it was like kind of an empty threat. Like, you got till Sunday to get out of here, and I'm like, okay. So I was working as a cartoonist for a rock magazine in Virginia, and I was like, all right, let me, uh, uh, let me call this dude up. He's got a big house in, in the uh, woods, 
And I'm like, called him up and I said, dude, I got kicked out. Can I crash on your couch or whatever? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. And he's like, that's awesome. Yes. And uh, can you be here tonight? Because we got to prep for this four day party. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, can you bring some of your high school friends? Uh, and now I realize like how freaking pervy and weird that was, but uh, it was the 90s, you know. So I was like, yeah, dude. So like six of us showed up and, and he was like, you can live here if you wash the dishes and do the cleaning and, and no rent. And I'm like, done. I said, I can even do a little cooking, you know, and cool. And so my first weekend there was like, I remember, oh, they were like, here's the stereo room. You're going to be staying in this room. Can you DJ? And I'm like, sure can. I can switch music and put cool shit on. They're like, you know all that new stuff, right? And I pulled out like 300 CDs that I own. And I'm like, I know everything cool right now. So, I, uh, yeah, I was playing music, hanging out with my friends, this and that, parties going on. I was like, and I realized I hadn't gotten up for a while. I was like just doing the music. And I was like, oh. So I, I'm kind of looking around, and I hear noise downstairs, and I'm like, oh, is there something going on down there? So I go, and I look downstairs, and I'm like, there's like three naked chicks down there, and I'm like, oh. And then some guy just like runs up in between them and starts like slapping his dick, <laughs> and he goes running off. And then I go out into the pool area, and there's just like all the, I, I, they're naked out there too, there's everybody's drinking, and I'm like, this is the real world? I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm like... And I learned very quickly that that is not the real world. That was just Jeff Houlihan's house in Virginia in the woods in 1994. You know? <laughs> oh, Jeff Houlihan. Jeff Houlihan, here's to you, the owner of Creax Magazine. Uh, not many places let you work 60 hours a week. Yeah, which is weird, right? You're like, I'd like to work hard, please. And they're like, fuck no. 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 Yeah. There will be no working hard for you. That's garbage. Run your own shop. Fuck that shit. Yeah, what it's going to come down to, dude, start your own business. I've been my own boss for 13 years now, and it's the fucking uh, how greatest. How awesome are you at what you do? Yeah. How amazing are you at what you do? And then just find a way to market it. You got someone that can help you out with a marketing plan, a business plan, whatever. Like, that's what my father-in-law did. It's one of the most impressive things about him. Is he like worked as an electrical uh, electrician, learned the electrical contractor's uh, code or test or something like that? I think the story goes. My wife can tell me the details a lot better. And then ended up taking the test and getting his contractor's license. Started his own business. He retired at 42, I think, or something like that. So, But really cool story. It's where you want to be. Then when part uh, a tub of 500 parts falls over, you can make someone pick it up and then kick it over again. <laughs> pick it up again. No. <laughs> This time in alphabetical order. <laughs> this place would probably let me work 12 shifts, 7 days a week. Jesus. Uh, shout out to Kyle. This is our buddy, Northwest Grown. He's one of the top 20 growers in the world, let's say. I know in the nation, but we're going to say the world. This is bomb. This is bomb. Is this open? No, it's all stickered up. Oh, all right. Yeah, I got to smell this and show it off. Yeah, and uh, I just, Kyle, you're the man. There we go. Get new stickers, though. Your stickers suck. That could have cost you an endorsement if I gave a shit about getting this painting done and didn't want to show off weed. <laughs> there you go. For all you... Ah, smells good. Ewok. Ewok. That's the name of the strain? Yeah. Cool. All right, so I'm going in with just a little bit of straight magenta here, a little red, a little, uh, actually, I could probably look at the tube and tell you the exact color. Really Primary nice. red. Really citrusy, piney smelling. Citrusy, piney smelling herb. And we're going to <laughs> drop in the uh, shadowing on this orchid. We're, we'll <laughs> detail it, and then I'll, I'll see if I like it, and then we'll move on to these two. This one, of course, will be 
a lot darker than the uh, than the other one. <laughs> I couldn't imagine like cracking a beer and then having a sneezing fit. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Good shit. Did, did, could you taste the, the beer cheese in that, in that pasta last night? Uh, if that's what it was, there was a very distinct flavor. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if it was the Gouda or... Well, it was a combination of the two. They definitely were like... They complemented each other. Yeah. Well. It wasn't bad. Yeah, that was, that was really good. I... She didn't cook it tonight. She Oh, she did the tortilla soup. We'll do that tomorrow. And uh, She did cook some? Well, that's right. I didn't have dinner so I, you know, until afterwards. I was uh, walking the contractor around. I found this awesome contractor dude who's willing to work on my house and do a bunch of improvements. And I can trade him artwork for the work, which is amazing. Always good to barter, to trade. Hell, man, if you were out here, I would trade you to weld something for me. I've actually tried to hit up a few welders because I'm trying to build a rotating easel where I can live paint three canvases at once. Like on stage, I can spin it, and it's just on this big kind of metal iron, cast iron thing. And, and, then, uh, and then in the end, I can lock the middle one position and fold out the other two canvases to make a full like six foot by three foot painting i think that would be a really cool performance you know piece also would be awesome is if it had contact microphones connected to it yep. and we ran that to the mixer while for a writing book show oh uh, yeah so there'd be like all sorts of well on the top i want it wired for whatever you can put lighting on top you can put a tv screen you can put i want the wiring to we would do, well, we would do uh cameras down too yeah so that we Yeah, have someone manipulating it while I'm while I'm painting. That would be sick as fuck. Definitely. You're getting a little inside scoop on our, our music project and, and how this works, how the studio works. We just throw ideas out and they're cool. <laughs> and they're cool. And they're cool. <laughs> Yeah, I barter for a lot of shit, and especially stuff that frees up my time, which is kind of why a lot of the package deals that I put together for corporations free up their time, because I know I like that. Yeah, where's, uh, hey, you know what, let's, let's, um, do I have Kyle's number? You want to call Kyle? You can text him. Uh, let's see, just did a shout out to your, my Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let the people know. And then hopefully they'll join in. Well, what, we're, gonna, we're gonna eventually need a welder here and the crew. Well, that sounds like a cool idea. Wish I had material and the time to do something like that. Bam, if you had your own business. Eventually, you could do whatever the fuck you wanted. We'd be like, yo, let's fly you out here to create me an easel. That's why I encourage, man, encourage everyone. You know, I'm not saying start a business tomorrow. I'm saying just keep it in the back of your head, you know. I think there's a lot more people that would, uh, would be very good entrepreneurs or, or very, you know, because believe me, the people that I meet that are like really good at their job and bitch at their bosses and know their bosses, they could do their better job. Usually should, you know. <laughs> Kyle says, ha, ah, hell yeah, thanks, man. You know it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave a shout out to the Ewok. Uh, Dakota from Sweet Relief says, 
What the fuck? Okay. There we go. Where you work, Gimp? Gimp says he's lurking at work. Where are you at? A porn shop or something like that with a name like that? Or what do you do? <laughs> Community. He's a gambler? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say porn shop, dominatrix, or. Uh, <laughs> Or he's just fulfilling community uh, service <laughs> for a bad rap. He or she. I don't know if I've confirmed the gender of Gimp yet. I can't see the name of the welder. It doesn't, it's so dark on my screen. Oh, are you in dark mode? Because yeah. it comes up black. Yeah. yeah. Nana. Nana Kisi? I think Nana or Nana or na that's a... He just said call, call on that. Nah, yeah, know. but I like the welder. The welder. Well, the welder, I, I really yep. definitely should do that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's definitely. Oh, uh, yeah. It's free info. And believe me, they love talking about themselves. Yeah. Don't even act like you're going to do your own thing. Yeah. Be like, man, I'm so idea. impressed by this operation. How did you start? They might actually, like... Yeah, seriously, it's like anything. It's like buying shoes for a pretty girl or <laughs> whatever. Jewelry. Come on, I've been married seven years. I haven't bought shit for a girl except she just goes and buys it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely how you uh, how you get that inside info. Yeah. And who gives a fuck if they do or don't? Yeah, and you might get like a free lunch out of it or something. A free lunch? You might get a better raise out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, whoa, this guy's got ambition. Yeah, I'm trying to like give you a promotion because you have to question. That, you know, it's amazing what little you have to do these days, though. Sometimes. Well, I just show that you care. <clears throat> show an interest, yeah. I'm going to do a little dark ridge up here to give it kind of more of a whoop, like fold in. I mean, that's pretty much what my father-in-law did. Teach me how to do this. Later, bitches. <laughs> and I'm taking your jobs. I mean, that's how I've gotten most of the gigs I get. Well, and that's like, you know, uh, some of my... Some of my companies, yeah, I mean, you know, I learned, you know, through working with OCB Rolling Papers, I learned... Uh, I learned about distribution. I learned about manufacturing. I learned about you know all the little nuances. I got hooked up with one my first major distributor that picked up my products. I mean by going out to dinner with them in Vegas and kind of be, you know becoming friends with them. So and then I just applied that knowledge and said, okay, I'm ready to you know I'm not going to do rolling papers. That's not my thing. But it, you know I do put out products that are in the same industry and require the same distributors. So. Um, it works well for me. I like that. That toasty orange really works for me. I think just some God. Oh, that's gonna be such a uh, that's gonna be a ballsy move right there. Gold. All right. Right? Maybe they'll give me a raise so I don't leave and become their competition. <laughs> you know, uh, my, my new contract I just signed with a, this company, I upped my money. And I know one of the reasons is the last thing they want is me going to their competition. Or becoming their competition. Or becoming, because I will fuck that up. I'm very, you know, remember the quote. The most dangerous man in the room is the one who listens. I don't know who said that, but it's a fucking amazing quote. Cause it's so true. 
I thought it was like Bruce Lee or some shit. I just, I was so amazed by the quote, I didn't even look to see who said it. I mean, I can, I can look it up, obviously. Like the most dangerous man, or the most dangerous man in the room is the one who listens. Watch, it'll be like Trump. It'll be like, oh, fuck. No. <laughs> yeah, right. Part of the deal. No. Whatever. It's still an amazing quote. <laughs> Oh, okay. But the other guy uh, pretty much claims that he wrote everything, you know, that he yeah. had nothing to do with it, and that he's a bumbling idiot, <laughs> which is awesome. Well, and most, I mean, most people have a shadow writer, or... Well, I, I mean, it wasn't a shadow writer, though. It's a, like, they're both, they're both their names are on the book. Are on the book, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, just, there's an online version for free, I'm sure. Just like you can pirate movies, there are, like, book pirating sites, which I think is hilarious. It's like, a team of rogue librarians, like, we'll get the knowledge out there for free. Woo! Uh, I put a little too much water in this paint, so we will let this dry for a moment. Let's move on over to here. I really like that I can zoom in on this screen myself, and it'll stay while you're working. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can zoom in? Yeah, look. Nice. I was able to go like that. It was like that. Oh, nice. I mean, just go like that. Red. Yeah, I don't, uh, the Twitch app is complete trash. No, but that's the one... But that is cool. Fucking and not to talk shit about Twitch, but get a fucking app developed that works, man. I tried to do updates, and it just kept going, error, error, error. And I'm like, okay, what do I do? And I've heard this for a long time. And I, and I really just don't like companies or whatever that don't pay attention to, like, feedback. You know? All right. Yeah, I'll let that dry a minute. Let's pop over here and put this orange in right here. So I think we... Uh, In that. A little water in there. So we'll do that base yellow, the yellowy orange again, and then start dropping the layers. This one's really tucked back there, so it's going to be the darkest uh, orchid. Warm and brown fatty. With a pH. Oh, of course. Fat with a pH, man. The only fat that you need to know. It's the only kind of fat we need to know. Yeah. like little 4th of July snaps. Oh, Sounds like it. They need to be in bed. <laughs> oh, maybe. I, I, I got each one of my kids a tennis racket, one of those like 1,200 volt tennis rackets. I don't know if they... <laughs> those are so fun. <laughs> I got two of them inside. Yeah. Contaminants. 
Love it. A little Heisenberg tennis racket. <laughs> yeah, like this, uh, I swear the app does not update the, the chat for shit. No, it it's it's an awful app. It really is. Bump, bump, bump. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I like that most people watching now are like at work. They're like tuning in from work. I dig it. It feels like we're part of a team getting shit done. Yawny. Too much coffee. Love that ink. You can see the whole bind. Just paint paint right over it. It is amazing. And we're separating this from the tentacle. Checking one thing here. Love these photography lights. They're just oh, flock to them. All right, Let's get a little more of that darker orange. Kind of scrub that in down here. All right. So let's switch brushes here and go in for some of the Tyrone art. What is up? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Sugar says, what up? But he's watching, so he can probably just type it. No, I won't disturb his work. I'll relay the message. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how I'm watching. Like this. I mean, I got my dashboard, but you just, just tune into that page on your computer and, you know... <laughs> he says, sugar, just fucking cook for Sean some more. <laughs> the man is wasting away. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm coming. I'm not wasting away. Come on. Does the camera take 10 pounds off? No. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, you know I'm going to have some of that later on, though. We got leftovers. Yeah. 
Yeah, Rachel put it back in the fridge. Okay. Yeah, I was there. Oh, I made sure. <laughs> Wasting away. No, I am wasted away usually. No. Now, being good tonight. Being good. Coffee. Long night ahead of me. It's not just about entertaining you guys. I got real work to do afterwards. <laughs> None of this. What are you going to do with your life shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna take it. Dude, I met D. Snyder. He is fucking amazing. <laughs> He's one of the coolest dudes ever. I love that shit. Uh, he was just telling me all sorts of cool stories, and I'm um, like, sweet. Like, I'm, with D. Well, I'm not homies. I met him. <laughs> I got him to sign a painting we auctioned off for charity, though. That's how I met him, yeah. Yeah. I would like to be homies with him, yeah, for sure, but, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not friends with any celebrities, per se. I have met quite a few, but they're usually pretty boring, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to talk about me? Let's talk about me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, get your own Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> then you can just sit around and talk about you. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, there we go. Orange, orange, orange. More color. More color. In fact, I'm going to water down that red, and I'm just going to kind of take it for a drive down here. Darken these up a little. And there we go. Oh, who's texting me? That's old Kyle. He just said, bam, knuckles. Oh, yeah. I want to do the Ewok strain art. It'd just be like, it'd be like George Lucas getting butt fucked by an Ewok or something, like, in a in a Disney jacket. Nah, he made four billion. He's all good. I'm waiting for that phone call one day. Yeah, we'd like to buy all your properties for four billion dollars. We're working on it. People paying us four billion dollars. <laughs> four billion dollars. That does sound great. I mean, I don't know what I would do with that money. Jesus Christ. I would do Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd give that shit away. I'll take the first ten people who followed me on Twitch and I'll give you a hundred million. How about that? How many? The first ten people that followed me on Twitch. I'll give I'll give them each a hundred million. hundred million what? Dollars. If somebody bought my shit for four billion. <laughs> Why not? Roger, what's up, dude? Can I have four billion, please, by the way? Hi. <laughs> that's all. That's the only reason I want money is like, A, I don't have to worry about shit, but just so I can do weird stuff with it. Nobody with money does weird shit. Like, cool weird shit. They all do weird shit, and it usually lands them in jail, but cool weird shit. So there is a number. <laughs> Ninja boy with the number. Oh, I was just referring to Star Wars before YouTube jumped in here. Here, have a lick. <laughs> yeah, but that would be like end of my life kind of sellout money, you know? 
Four billion. Yeah. That's the kind of shit where you just strap yourself with dynamite and you're like, whoa, why do I have this? And then go jump off a building and detonate yourself. I don't know. Just weird shit. Cool shit. What would you do with $4 billion? Or just pay people to heckle other people that deserve to be heckled. Drop in a little shadow here. Whoop. That went a little bit over. This one's behind, so we'll darken that in. Billions of things, yeah. Yeah, and you can only spend it at the dollar store. So you're going to have to buy four billion one dollar items. <laughs> what are you on, rotten.com? <laughs> All right, let's get some of that dark red up in here. Back, we're gonna go straight right there. Make that super dark. Make that eyeball pop. And uh, there we go. Kind of texture it by hitting it with the uh, paper towel. An official art supply. High quality. But they all join together and create a giant $1 store robot. That would be awesome. And then it takes one step and just falls apart because it's made of such crap. <laughs> like, oh, it lasted. It's got like 30 million like shitty air fresheners with awful scents like cool water, you know, or pina colada hanging off of it. Oh, the dollar store. I'll tell you, though, sometimes, though, I go to the dollar store just to load up on mechanical pencils and, and erasers and pencil sharpeners. Because and, why not? There's no fucking point in spending a lot of money on those things. Can I hire you for four pesos? No. <laughs> Dude, Llama Music is following? Holy shit. You guys know who that is? This guy beats llamas and then takes their screams, samples them, and makes music out of it. It's fucking insane. He's very big in uh, <laughs> Peru. <laughs> There's a tail in there, I swear. There is. I'm telling you. We're going to come up with some cool shit in this room. What up, llama music? <laughs> We're going to come up with some ideas that are going to revolutionize. Oh, is it llama A? Llama A music, okay. Oh, I didn't see the other A. I thought it was Llama. <laughs> or something like that. Llama A music. That's Sugar, by the way. He's Sugar and he's Llama A music. And I'm sure the sleazy geezer is going to make an appearance one of these months. You know. It'll be like a Tony Clifton, you know. <laughs> He'd come in there like that. <laughs> Kaufman! <laughs> Sleazy geezer at get the hell off my lawn dot com. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh. That'd be a great website for an old person to promote themselves. Get the hell off my lawn. It's just like a online Yeah, the forum. Yeah. General questions. Like one 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 room's like general questions, the next one's like complaints about those general questions. <laughs> and then it just goes on and on. Like that would be awesome. Is that available? <laughs> Come on. It's probably a lawn service. Get off my lawn dot com. Or it's like a Me Too for wide bush porno. I don't know. <laughs> We're getting that. That went a little, a little imaginative. 
You had to think. Uh, Is it, somebody owns it? Get off. Oh, it's an actual site? Getoffmylawn.com is a site. What's the premise? It just crashed his computer. Ooh, Wix.com. Isn't that the Keanu Reeves one? Or is that Squarespace? Which one oh my God. can I build a website and go to the Matrix? <laughs> exactly. It's like an old dude has a website. And look, there's an old dude. John Hunter, Terry Vent, and Gary Fletcher. Okay. Owns the world's largest collection of 83 po Pocarobas. Pocarobas? Let's find out what that is. Anybody know what a Pocaroba is? I know Cocoroba Show. Fantastic New Orleans musician. What the hell is that? I think we're going to go on a journey here, folks. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a baseball reference? A baseball reference? Wait, what is it? A collection of 83 Pokemon. Weird. Movies. So it must be baseball cards? I don't know. Oh, I guess maybe I should put 83 in there to see if that has just some sort of... Oh, baseball. yeah. Oh, you know. Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves. Biff Pocaroba. No shit. The guy who fucked with George McFly. <laughs> Gave up Lent for Lent 40 years ago and forgot to stop. Oh, these guys are clever. I mean, they do own getthehellofmylawn.com. They're idiots. <laughs> Really? These are all, all people, northeast, northwest, north by northwest. Is what I like that. All right, we got some orange orchids. Yeah. At the bottom, it says tits. It says tits? Let's chat. Hi there. I'm available to answer your questions. Oh, yeah. Go get the chat Get the chat bot going. This <laughs> About lawn mowing. <laughs> That's awesome. How can I service you today? <laughs> uh oh. Chatbot's not working. Okay, I'm back. I didn't know you left. Did you say you were leaving? <laughs> Welcome back. Are you at work too? Everybody's at work that's tuning in. Hell, I'm working. <laughs> well, Sean, you need about four strippers to service me. I'm at work. <laughs> All right. Let's give you the address. Or give me the address. We'll send them right over. <laughs> yeah. I am not getting a response from chatbot. Are you like, what do you work at the IRS? Is that why you need four strippers? <laughs> One's not going to do it. <laughs> We're going to need a team of specialists. <laughs> there we go. Where am I painting? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where your painting? I don't know. Where? Like where? Like put on your painting? Like a pair of pants? Where am I cocaine? <laughs> there you go. All right, everybody play the where game. No, what happened? Exactly. Oh, I think... Uh, the music's it's on a stripper's ass. Lady Frenzy Wicked Truth. Change the title of your stream. I forgot about... Ah, hey, you only get that once. 
you only get that one, maybe twice, but maybe, no, I don't know. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You uh, had me add your name, or I added your name out of the courtesy of my heart. <laughs> what painting was I working on? Wasn't that like the Mad Hatter or Hunter? Or... You've abandoned me for a few weeks, haven't you? Well, I've abandoned my fans, too. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my cocaine? <laughs> yeah. Where my cocaine? We lost a bunch of viewers on that one. <laughs> They're like, well, if this guy doesn't know where the cocaine is. Okay, busy's good. I was just about to say, how are you? <laughs> Damn it, Bobby, it's propane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <not> cocaine. <laughs> Frenzy knows nothing of the Lord and Savior Cockpaw. Oh. You, well, I'm going to let you fill in, Lady Frenzy, wicked truth about that, Kyrene Art. <laughs> Would you like to take it away? I think there's a PowerPoint extension you can add on to the, the chat. Chapter one, thoughts of a kitty. Be like, I don't know. It started out as a cat trying to give give good luck. Now it's throwing penises at people. Step up to the mic. That's right. We need to get a cock paw command. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got to do... I got to get someone to set up the commands, man. I don't have time for that shit. But I do want to because we could come up with some pretty funny crap. What, what do I need to do? I can use them to trigger uh, like like uh, animated shit too, right? It's not just like... I don't know. If you put in... What, what did uh, Jake Hudson put in? Like how many horns? Exclamation point horns? And it was like... I think I put something in there that I, uh, I think I put a command in there that I didn't know I put in. <laughs> something like that. What the fuck was it? Did that work? Horns. No. Oh, I can go back to the beginning of time. Oh, oh, points. What do I got here? I got zero devil horns. <laughs> Wait, this is my channel. Shouldn't I have like billions? Four billion to be exact? No. <laughs> yeah. How did the welder get 600 points? <laughs> He's ranked number 11. This is like a, a corporate raid. Like taking my company over. <laughs> Give me my horns back. <laughs> oh, exclamation point points tells you that? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 480 subscribers, I'm sure, get points for a certain amount. Uh, uh, you, know, you know, whatever. There's all sorts of cool shit. It's like Christmas every day here. Yeah, my heart is like racing right now. I'm like, caffeine. <laughs> See, now everybody's points. <laughs> yeah. 25. See, you're down there with me. Like, no. Well, you just signed on. Which account, though? I know Llama A Music has <laughs> probably jack shit. But you followed me, so I bet you get points for that. Yeah. There's like little gremlins or something running the basics of my channel. <laughs> I got squat. <laughs> That's amazing. It's all right. It's the thought that counts. No horns for you. <laughs> got to figure out something to do. Cigars are initiated at weird-ass football game or some crap by cheering. I, I was like... Something about football popped up, and I'm like, okay, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
The GIMP, 705. That's right. And is ranked number nine. Pimp is right, dude. I want my Christmas to consist of hookers and blow. Uh, I have a tissue and some hookers green paint. That's about all I can accommodate with that. So start. you're on your own. It's a good start. Dude, that's his ear. What the fuck? I didn't paint it. <laughs> Whoops. I love when I miss shit. And especially when it's like a color I don't readily have available. So now I got to do work. Shy is away. I lied. I want it to be food and titties. Oh, well, there you go. That could be one and the same. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a rap song he's writing. <laughs> Very classy. <laughs> there we go. That's that color. Computer crashed, but Sugar's got some music on the way. So. Enjoy the silence. Chat's going off, though. We're screaming in chat. I can hear everybody. Everybody's yelling what they type. I know it. The GIMP hosted the stream for one viewer. I bet you terrorized that viewer, too, didn't you? You were like, motherfucker, you're going to watch this guy. And if you leave, I'm the GIMP. I'm going to put a zipper head on you and then beat you in the head with a pack of licorice. This is how we, oh, he's, oh, here come wings and titties, wings, wings, and titties. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for the host. Hosted by the GIMP. That sounds like a really cool Halloween party. Hosted by the GIMP. Wings and There will be cocktails. And cock pop. So the GIMP is hosting. That it was just me. I was adding you to auto host the easy way. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Oh, and I'm painting. Aside from rap songs, here's a little uh, zoom in of what I've done tonight. <laughs> there we go. The purple's still popping. I think the orange did well. Forms a nice barrier between the blue turtle and the purple cat and... Purple horseshoes and green clovers, and uh, I bet you've thrown a decent party or two in your day. We're gonna have to do the uh, Sean Dietrich channel party one day. We're gonna find out like where the where the central location is for you guys. Oh, you're gonna have your own like YouTube influencer party. I'm gonna have a party bus, and I'm gonna go around and pick everyone up. So it's gonna end in a brawl. And we're gonna end up in like a cornfield in Nebraska, and just like with flame weeders and bottles of whiskey. <laughs> I want a flame weeder. I need one. There better be wings and titties. <laughs> you gotta break them. Done. Yeah. Bring the wings and titties and a SoundCloud rapper rapping about them. Yeah. Lil something. <laughs> oh, oh. Lil Cockball. <laughs> <laughs> Little something. Oh, wait, 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 no. Where's my shift button? Boom! Lil Cockpaw is going to be MC, and, and then Lil something? <laughs> Lil Sound Cloud? I look up Lil Cockpaw in Transactions of the Indiana Horticultural Society. Well, then we need to be in Indiana, where the Cockpaw corn dogs will be, yes. Cock Paul is on the web. Cock Paul photos on Shutter Oh, click on them. I'd like to see some images of Cock Paul. Oh my god! What is that? It's a, it's a chicken! It's a chicken! <laughs> what did you Google? So if you Google Lil Cock Paul, there should be a Shutter Stock. You can see, you can see this chicken. He has a knit head? Like knit? Oh, it's it's a crocheted chicken <laughs> named Cockpaw. Oh my god, The boy ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken. Soft handmade rooster cock toy in red shorts and red stripes and white cockpaws. How much? 
How much? Oh, uh, find the web. We gotta buy that. That needs to be a part of the studio. <laughs> it's Espanola cockpaw. <laughs> we should. Uh, oh, we gotta invite that crocheter to make like um, sweaters for us. <laughs> oh, the Santa hat uh, butt plug on Alibaba. So, so if you guys don't know, Alibaba is a site you can go to. It's one of the biggest corporations in the world, and it's from China. And uh, uh, you, we decided, because you can get anything on here, like if you want to manufacture shit in China and whatnot. So we tried to look up the weirdest shit we could, and there was like a Santa hat butt plug beer bong. Or something like that, you know. Yeah, get that SoundCloud going, man. Make oh, some, sorry, make some fire beats. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he has the wrapping cat ears. Oh, he'll just put the Snapchat filter on with the cat ears. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is Lil Cockpaw. <laughs> Butt plug beer bong. Little little SoundCloud. <laughs> oh, a little something. There you go. Yeah, it was like it was weird. It was this thing was fucking huge, and it like I mean you could literally if it was inserted, you could pour a lot of liquid in there. So it wasn't like when the hydration bot comes on, you're like, oh, let me pull out my Santa Claus butt plug and just hydrate. This shit was. For getting down at a party. I think it was the strangest thing we found on that website. Very legitimate website, too. <laughs> Shout out to Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> the game says, like, if it's going to be that kind of party, we're going to need to make a few extra stops. I know some people. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Dude, what's the insurance liability going to be on this party? <laughs> All right, here's Lil Sum Sum. Oh, oh Lil Sum Sum. Oh, no, no, no. No, turn the ad off. Oh, why has he got ads? You know he hasn't made it. Here we go. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's cultured. He's got, like, the piccolo. Rental advisory. <laughs> oh, this is butt plug worthy. It's funny, my studio door is open too. My neighbors are like, what the fuck is he talking about? This is some real shy town shit. Oh, damn. Of Formal apology to my, my neighbors. I probably some shouted some things out the door that were very... Uh, <laughs> I hope they're eight-year-olds in bed. <laughs> I'll get my But this isn't me. This is just what we found on the Internet. I'm just relaying information. That's all I'm doing. I just want you guys to be educated. <laughs> On what's available out there. <laughs> or if you're just starting out in the world, I want you to know that your options are pretty much endless. <laughs> you know? And the GIMP, he knows some people. So if you need some help, call him. He knows some people. <laughs> just tell them Memphis homies to bring the barbecue. <laughs> Let's detail some shit. I'm tired of paint. Let's get some ink going here. I'm tired of paint. Paints for wankers. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> what held a message? Identity? Oh, allow it. It says GIMP let's take let's take over mid south con and it said like message held, reason, identity. I guess because it sounds like he's trying to like find out who this guy is in real life, you know. Or I allowed it. 
The man in the high castle says yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that. I have it on like the lowest settings, you know. I mean, one one lower. I think it's like it's like filter a little, maybe a little bit more Ron Jeremy or whatever, you know, like just scum of the earth. <laughs> Every scum of the earth can chat. You know? <laughs> See, yeah, and I am a mature audience, so, you know, and obviously I have a very mature audience because the topics that we've uh, brought up tonight are... Oh, my God. <laughs> just Pulitzer worthy. <laughs> Top secret plans. I could bring Chef. No way, dude. In fact, next year I'm actually hiring a chef to provide all my meals on tour at the show. Because it's not, I have, uh, the girl I hired to help run my booth has a couple of chef friends. They're amazing. And I'm like, what would it actually cost to, uh, uh, to have like all my meals catered? Because I'm tired of festival food and, it, and it's not that expensive. I was like, done. I need some good shit. Oh, this brush broke. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah. He looks and sounds like, Chef, what's that? Does he cook? <laughs> I mean, you can bring him and all that shit, but... Yeah, we need the we need the party bus, the tour bus. Yeah, it's kind of funny that you label your channel mature audience when clearly... <laughs> clearly... We are far from that. And that's okay. It's just one of those things. Whatever. It's the opposite, you know. Like when I used to do... Uh, I did a little bit of door-to-door uh, -door sales when I was a mortgage broker on my lunch break. We had like something going on with the electric company or whatever. And, uh, and I'll tell you... The people that have no soliciting on their door, first person I, uh, first people I would hit. Man, you could sell them anything. What do we got here? This looks satanic. Hanu. <laughs> Honu. Cookies and cream. Cannabis infused edibles. Shout out to Honu. There you go. I thought it was a pentagram on there at first. But then I thought, well, it's cannabis related. I haven't found any good, like, satanic cannabis mashups. Oh, Hanu is Hawaiian for sea turtle and represents longevity, peace, good luck, humility, yawn here. <laughs> I know, all right, I get the reference, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm cool with that. Save the planet, be cool to animals, whatever. It's just when they get all preachy about it. Or they got to relate it to some god that died 6,000 years ago and you're like... Oh, really? Wow. He looks and sounds like chef. He cooks. He makes chocolate salty balls. And the welder wants some. I'm all caught up on chat now. <laughs> the chef. Who's the chef? Oh, yeah, go, go back and read chat. You got to get up. This dude uh, knows a dude who looks like a dude who's dressed like another dude. Yeah. You are fun. Yes. Of course not. I don't... I chef, I thought he was talking about a fucking dude from South Park. That's what he is. <laughs> he, he is? Well, he's bringing the guy that talks and cooks and sounds like him. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> I'm too busy trying to get high. I yeah, sugar's, that. sugar's missing, you know. He needs to just get high and then settle down and catch up. <laughs> Ooh, acid house. <laughs> oh. Don't interrupt the acid house. <laughs> that was the dog. <laughs> you can do it, sugar buddy. You get high, I believe. <laughs> Well, it's not like get high, it's like maintain high. I mean, he's high. 
He's high from about 10 a.m. You know? <laughs> yeah, higher. We're talking like talking like altitude records. You're like, is that a is that a weather balloon? Is that a U? Oh, it's sugar floating away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's when he gets into those edibles. And I knew we get into that dangerous shit. <laughs> Woo. Putting a little uh, fine line work on the orchids. I don't feel like zooming, so I'll hold the painting up. There we go. Oh, man. Who? Oh, sugar did. Okay. There we go. What happened to my phone? Oh, thought I was watching myself. <laughs> what the hell did I do? There we go. <laughs> Sugar needs a towel costume. <laughs> that would be amazing. I could I could see him doing that. <laughs> the gimp agrees. I think most people did. That was like one of the greatest episodes. <laughs> Unreal. He's like Tally Tally or they're trying to remember directions and Tally's like, I don't remember if I get high <laughs> and, and then he's just like all spaced out and they're like, Tally, Tally like, What? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Little tally gif in the corner with a sugar tag. Yeah. I like how your name now is S-U-G-A-H. Like, yeah, you're, you're evolving. <laughs> now you're like, oh, sugar. <laughs> sugar queen. You're like, drag queen likes you, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're in, dude. That girl over there named Secret wants to talk to you. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Get some veins. Veins. What is that thing? Oh, it's my microphone cord. I'm like, hey. I feel like as weird as we are and we things we talk about, we still accomplish more than half the Twitch streams that I've stumbled upon. Like the girls that are just looking cute and singing songs for, for biddies. There's no end game there. <laughs> There's no future. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of streamers get caught up in talking and don't work. Yeah, some of them aren't working though. Like, there's some that I'm like, why do you exist? It's like, and they have like thousands of followers, and they're just like, we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the splits like this one anime dude did, and um. And then I'm going to do nothing, and then I'm going to do more nothing. And you guys are going to pay me. It's very creepy. Yeah, being able to talk and work is key. <laughs> I love the stream because you really do keep it about the work. A oh, yeah, ASMR streamers, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm talking about the titty streamers. You're right. You're right. I am. Is that the official term? Titty streamer. Instead of Twitch, it's like tw twit, like titch and twi twitch and tit combined. I don't know. We gotta come up with an official word. Twit. 
<laughs> I like titty streamers. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, I mean, we all like them. I mean, I like them. But, you know, it just confuses me why they're streaming. Doesn't Girls Gone Wild pay more? I bet not. <laughs> no, that's all free shit. <laughs> You're going to be on a video. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Yeah. I got a raid. I got a raid. Kane eats Abe is raiding with a party of five. Is that why I should probably have my thing in? Hosted the stream for four viewers. Thank you so much. Brandish your swords. Let's get some devil licks going on here. Let's lick let's lick the raiders. There you go. Raiders of the lick of the licked arc. Raiders of the lost lick. We could that's a painting. Welcome everyone. A buck a lemon, remnant of the moon, dude. These are fucking awesome names. Are you guys like Vikings? Is this coming from like a like a Norwegian black metal stream that I don't know about? This is fucking awesome. Thank you. This is the Cheshire Cat. We're doing Alice in Normal Land. Yes, behold the mighty of the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, cockpaw. This this look, used to look like a giant furry penis, so um, I toned it down a bit. But Kai Art always gets out of his mind about it, so. Uh, but we're doing, so we, uh, here we go. I'll start off with the story. This is the Red Queen. She is now a 70-year-old poker player in Reno in 1956, spending all her Social Security checks. And, uh, because we're, we're, they came through Wonderland into our, our land, and now they just have shit day jobs, so. And, uh, for the Cheshire Cat, the welder here came up with the idea of just taking this little dude why don't we make a Cheshire cat out of out of this? So that's his day job. Is to be the Cheshire cat. Yes, you do listen to a lot of black metal on stream. I bet, dude, with a name like that, and and all your fans that are just kind of like, I feel like there's like seven dudes watching me now with like long black hair and like battle axes and and Viking ships with Bluetooth. It's amazing. Oh, I didn't throw him under the bus. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Nana's the welder. <laughs> He's like, don't you dare take credit for coming up with the Cheshire. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little bit of detail work on these orchids, and then I will uh, color in their eyeballs. Most people don't know flowers have eyeballs but they do and for anybody just joining uh thank you <laughs> my instagram sean dietrich sean dietrich will show you all my finished pieces and i have a bunch of time lapses of custom hand painted rolling trays etc etc i do a lot in the cannabis industry and uh what else do i do i tour around and i live paint at all the big rock shows that danny wimmer throws so I will be in Kentucky this September and Sacramento in October, Denver in October. And then uh, the uh, chat and I were just talking about getting a tour bus together and maybe maybe I should travel around and, and we need a roaming party. So, you know, I'm the odd one out. I look nothing like you just tried. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you're like, I just don't have a battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else was correct. <laughs> That's okay. That's straight up. Believe me, I, I love it. I was on I was on tour with Metal Mayhem for many years. Amon Amoth put on a fucking amazing show. It's awesome. I more grew up on like Ministry and Neubotten and all the uh, kind of dark '70s shit, you know. But uh. But I can hang with some metal. One of my favorite vegan death metal restaurants is in San Diego called Kindred. Everybody should try that. Ah, oh, everybody gives Nano Banano a what up. That's my little brother, Ian. So uh, he's amazing, but he already knows that. Dude, you're related to me. You don't need to um, kiss my ass. It's okay. I'll still come visit when I'm famous <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> Finally get, uh, get to get on stream after work. Good, man. Yeah. 
So someone who's finished work. I know about half of you right now are at work watching me, so it is Miller time for Nano Banano. Or in his case, those those little drinks with the cocktail umbrellas. <laughs> what up, Ian? Sugar says what up? For those just joining as well, this is this is Sugar, S C H U G A R. He is named after a Hebrew mortuary in Brooklyn. <laughs> Did I get that right? That was completely wrong. <laughs> um, but he writes all the music for my time lapses. So this is his. Uh, this is my studio in Washington. He sits over there and produces music for all my time lapses. He and one of his uh, seventy-six projects. Yeah, he has about four hundred and thirty different projects that he works on. So. Y'all cool with a black Viking with dreads? Yeah! A black dread Viking. That's, that sounds like an actual, like, like a class of character in Dungeons and Dragons or something. A classic? A class. A classic character. Ah! Uh, it's an 82 black dreaded Viking. Yes. Yeah, we're cool with whatever. <laughs> If you heard some of the shit we were talking earlier, Santa hat butt plugs and <laughs> <laughs> that was all uh, Kai Rune Art's fault. All Kai Rune Art. <laughs> what do you say? Sugar's totally able to be Lil Cock Paul, the successful SoundCloud rapper now. Exactly. Oh, here we go, Roger. Remnant, he's a piece of the moon that crashed into the earth and the Vikings worshipped him a gift from the gods and they blast metal music at him. What? That sounds amazing. That's like if I gave a fuck about religion, I would, I would be into that. I would totally be into that. That sounds awesome. Unless, I mean, what is the gift from the gods, though? I mean, it's got to be, you know, like like a lifetime Amazon Prime subscription or, or a... Or a battle axe, exactly. We need a cool battle axe. Woo! -hoo. So we have flowers. <laughs> Just detailing out the flowers. I think I can, uh, uh, let me see, I'll zoom in a little bit. You guys gotta be able to see this shit a little better. There we go. But sometimes if I'll, I'll end up painting off camera. Um, I'll notice it eventually. Forgive me if I do it. Yo, that's awesome. Just change, just change he to she. Remnant. She's. Oh, yeah. Ah, you got busted now. No. <laughs> I do that all the time. That's why I'm like, you know what? You're all just a bunch of transgender motherfuckers. And we solved that problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're all humans from the year... 3642, when there is no gender. It's been bred out of us by aliens. There we go. It's all good. <laughs> That's even better. When I don't get yelled at for screwing up someone's he, she. <laughs> someone's he, she. <laughs> All right. And anyone that's just joining, if you are an artist, feel free to link in the chat your Instagram, your website, whatever. Please share your art in chat. I want to, you know, I'm all about the, you know, collaborative uh, sharing of ideas. I like to look at cool art too, so I'm down. I have no problem with that. <laughs> no, not me. It was uh, Roger this time. Yeah, I knew you were going to jump on that, though, because I fucked up your gender. <laughs> yeah, we all become sexless genderless. I mean, I could have said, well, Nana, Nana Kisi, are you Polish? You know, <laughs> it's got ski at the end, right? But backwards and mixed around and, oh, there's so many ways to fuck up someone's name and gender. 
but that's okay. But yes, if you're an artist, post some shit. Let me see some stuff. I love it. I have met many a cool artist on here. I don't even know who rated me. If like, what what stream did you come from? I mean, I know the name, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. We know you don't care. You don't care about your bosses who gave you a wonderful job and are paying you money. <laughs> Dutch. All right. You pick up all those pieces yet? All 500? <laughs> I'm totally drawing your description. That's awesome. The guy who just rated you is a really good digital artist. Okay, cool. So it did come from an art stream. All right, all right. Very cool. I didn't know if it was like people cooking hamburgers or... Dude, yeah, I want to see that drawing. When, that, when that's done. Who was doing the... Um... Who was doing the person terrified of the toaster? I forgot who was drawing that, but that was amazing. <laughs> it was like a toaster attacking a girl in their sleep. That's your Instagram? Cool. Boom. Chat link. Follow. Oh, come on. I don't want to log in. I'm already logged in. It, it's jerk. All right. Let's get some following going on. What are you remnant? Oh, just like you're okay. Yay. Oh, and then that underscore thing and. There we go. Boom. Follow. Let me check some shit out real quick. Oh, you do a little bit of everything. You're very cool. Nice, 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 nice. I'll take a more in-depth look later, but very cool from what I can see. What was that? There we go. Huh? Oh, that was the gimp. <laughs> Definitely. What we, is that? Did you do any more on it? Oh yeah, there it is. Check this shit out. <laughs> the toaster. <laughs> that is awesome. That would be a cool toy. Like get that cast as a resin figure and. <laughs> That'd be cool as an actual toaster. <laughs> I'll never eat toast again. <laughs> Wakes up the next morning. You want toast? <laughs> Kid freaks out and we walk by a bagel shop. <laughs> yeah, that is that's amazing shit right there. <laughs> the gimp knows what's up. But that's what's great about having kids, man. You can do shit like that too to them. You can just, <laughs> just come, yeah, just like you know what? I am gonna take the option of eating toast off the menu. Look at this drawing I did. <laughs> uh, the kids are awesome. I'm glad I have two. <laughs> there we go. So we got some line work going in on the orchids. That's so cool, though. <laughs> Toasters are scary. Maybe when you put, like, a fork in them or... <laughs> Wayne! Nice thick outline on here. It's got a shadow. There we go. I do not fear toasters unless I'm in the bathtub. 
Yes, stream your stuff. Why not? It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Especially if you want to get shit done. I think I've cranked out, this is my eighth painting in, in almost as, uh, as many weeks. I think seven weeks, eight paintings, something like that. Which is pretty crazy uh, workload. But it's easy. I find it's very, I don't know, it just, it just works. My official explanation. I don't know. It works. Yeah, I'm like, did the Honey Hatter, the Fear and Loathing in Kentucky, did the Queen, Cheshire, I got the Whale, the Tank, the MG42 Mosquito, and, uh, oh yeah, and that Bourbon and Beyond thing. So yeah, this is painting number eight, and I had the family reunion, so, well, what, June 9th was my first, uh, first day streaming, because I just looked up the, uh, the video history. So not even six weeks. I don't know. It's been a lot, but but I gotta impress you guys, and and, and so I just can't not not work. <laughs> I love doing the live art at the festivals, though. I mean, there's nothing like setting the canvas up in front of a hundred thousand people and just like. Watching them all walk by, come up, videotaping, talking to you, saying what up, buying shit. It's fun. Super fun. Really convincing. <laughs> well, you know. I was just super impressed with that raid netted that many cool names. I've had raids where it's like, alright, there's some people, but these are, you know, some prominent fucking names that came in here. Whether you do shit or not. <laughs> there we go. That's why I named my son Maximilian. Maximilian Dietrich is his name. It, re it means, Maximilian means the greatest. Dietrich means ruler of the people. So his name literally means the greatest ruler of the people. So I'm hoping that just gives him a leg up. Like even if he turns out to be a janitor, he's going to be like king of the janitors. Fuck yeah. He's going to be like the, he's going to be like the toxic Avenger. <laughs> oh, I don't wish that on my son, but... <laughs> But that was also the name of a World War I German Zeppelin ace who bombed the shit out of England before getting shot down over the channel. There's tonight's history lesson. E oh, okay. I will have to refresh myself on Kane's art, though, which I will happily do, of course. And I will add everybody and follow and all that good stuff. So, most definitely. Got to gotta keep the community growing. Add and be added to a collection of weirdos and artists. There we go. You crash your computer again? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Are you hanging out on getoffmylawn.com again? The more you know. Ding! Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I used to love that thing. Because I felt like I do know more now. <laughs> and there was a cool graphic to remind me that I know shit.
And what I like about recording these sessions is that we actually can go back and relive this absurdity. Well, all the cool, crazy ideas we come up with, you know, sometimes. I, hey, you know. It's like all the cool ass shit I come up with when I'm drunk and then I don't write it down and wake up the next morning and like, fuck! Oh. <laughs> now you can have an intern watch this shit. Yep. Who wants to be? Hey, no. Yeah. Who wants to be the Dietrich LLC intern at my studio and transcribe all this wonderful nonsense? <laughs> Let's see, Cockpaw Car, Lil Cockpaw, The Chef, Party Bus, Cornfield in Indiana. <laughs> it is a party. Oh, what do we got? Uh, I drew this. Oh, what the fuck? I can just hover over it and it shows up? Yeah, like that. That's amazing. Hey, hover over that link that he just put. It looks like you can just hover over it and it popped up without clicking on it. Well, that's that's groovy. That was on a shirt? That is awesome. As long as I get health care, I'll do anything. <laughs> I need health care first. <laughs> You need what? <laughs> Woo! All right. Hey, you got to demonstrate a genius pipe one night. I don't have one anymore. They're over here. You lost it. No, I didn't lose it. It's around here. It's probably in my gear bag. <laughs> I got a fuckload of them sitting right here, though. <laughs> the genius pipe. Does it run on propane? <laughs> Fail. Yeah, right. Woo! All right. I'm just going to ink over ink the shit out of these flowers. I know it. But a lot of it has to do like line work that'll actually separate it because this will be you know a lot cleaner in here, so it'll definitely these orchids will pop out a lot more. So there is intentional or intention in my uh, ridiculous line work, even though it is very soothing, and I could just do this without thought all night or care if it ruins the art. Did he get high and pee on the computer? Uh, tonight? <laughs> I've never peed on the computer. He's never peed on the computer, but how would he know? <laughs> no, no peeing on the computer. He's pretty religious about taking care of his equipment. Physical and digital equipment. <laughs> uh, let's put a little doohickey there. There we go. Maybe he's got an elbow. Yeah, that shirt was amazing. That was cool as fuck. The welder can draw. Yet another person who should be doing it. Doing it. We love the clowns. I worked on Sweet Tooth the Clown for Twisted Metal. That was such a fun project. You know what? I just found the box, too, when I was evacuating on Friday from uh, from the fire. I have this memorabilia box that has, like, a lot of my, like, old-school shit. My team-up collaboration with John Kay from Ren and Stimpy, Andy from Adventure Time. But in there is all my original Sony art. So I'll have to uh, pull that out on, on one of these streams and show you guys. It was, it's pretty pretty fucking... It was fun. Two-week project. But they were like, come up with why Sweet Tooth the Clown is fucked up. I'm like, well, I can do that. 
So yeah, yeah, I got and so I got like the concepts uh, for the the storyboards for for the cutscenes. And the game was never produced. They got into a big argument with each other, a uh, production facility in San Diego and whoever was working on it in Utah. I think I scared the Mormons, maybe. Who knows? But it was uh, nonetheless very, nonetheless, excuse me, very fun project. And it's really fucking cool to say, too. Oh, yeah, I got to work on that. <laughs> that was my first big break to come out of San Diego Comic-Con was... Uh, was the Sony project. And what did they see? I think they, oh, he saw this comic I did about a call girl who uh, does cocaine off the eyeball of the devil. No, does cocaine with the devil off the eyeballs of her victims. And he said, oh yeah, you could probably do something with Sweet Tooth. So if you're thinking what you're drawing is way too weird for the world, it might get you a job at Sony. The more you know. Ding. We're going to have to come up with a, a more you know um, emote or something. So every time I drop some knowledge, we can <laughs> put that shit up there. <laughs> huh? <laughs> He's like, the more you twisted metal? Yeah. Oh, I love that game. When they told me that's the game they wanted me working on, I was like, shut up. And then I slapped him, and I'm like, what? I'm kidding. I think you can do a command that displays a GIF somehow. Really? That'd be cool. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen a... Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Not in chat, but one of those ones that dances across my... My screen. If you got the PSA clip, that'd be great. Pork chop sandwiches! Yeah, those were awesome. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. What are we doing? We got another pop up image. Dude, that's gnarly. It's what is that? Satan in a miniskirt, like nailed to the cross? That's fucking cool as shit. Yeah. No, that's cool. Don't do last one. Keep keep showing that shit off. Till your bosses fire you for goofing off at work and then you're like, Alright, guess I gotta go be an artist. <laughs> Kind of hatch, hatch my way around this eyeball. Almost kind of looks like eyelashes too. So works both ways. Yeah, that would be a badass tattoo. Get the little spots on the uh, turtle. keep calling it a sea turtle, even though it's not. It is a land-based turtle. When's the face reveal, Sean? Hi. <laughs> what? You're going to have to elaborate on that or remind me of what I said I was going to show you that I don't remember what I'm going to show you. Like from A team? Face? <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's go. How much I detail? Oh, I got to uh, shade in these teeth, but we can go ahead and do a little bit of the black outline. I'll get some gray out here in a minute and maybe do that. That way I can, well, I'll outline this, detail that, and then I'll start dropping in some of the uh, 
the gray shadows. I know that's not the real you. Oh, oh, okay. You mean it's not the real me? What the hell does Sean Dietrich look like? <laughs> You think I am the devil with my tongue cocked to the right? <laughs> Bam. <coughs> Let's see. We'll do a little hatching in here. Yeah, I, I'm just ventriloquizing this guy. I'm really off drinking a nice scotch in the corner. Making this dude paint. That would be nice. <laughs> slave. Slave boy. Paint slave. Paint this. You're like a sex slave, but they paint for you. All right. Working, working. I almost forgot this orchid down here. Where's the gimp? I know the gimp's lurking. So sugar is the real Sean. Got it. <laughs> we need to take a knife and carve and rip out the real you. Okay, just don't fuck with my hat. I like it. Let me take my hat off first. I'll have to wear one of my other hats. I have about 50 hats. Some are kind of cool. Some are weird. Some are not mine. <laughs> I got a really cool fedora, though. A couple of them. Uh, actually, I got one that there's only one of in the world, and I got two fedoras that are custom-made. My wife and I did this uh, little project for um, my friend Gary, who has a hat company with Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, Egg and Butter is the name of the hat uh, company. Or who said, and then the egg and butter men. But I think it's who said dot com or whatever. But we did a couple of uh, custom hats for Cedric because he wanted to do a campaign to kind of, I guess, put the feelers out there to see if there was a market for that, or just do something cool with his hats. But we did these prohibition style fedoras, so we had. The one hat actually had doors that would open up on the side, and and it, and it was like a speakeasy scene. I'll uh, have to wear it one night. I do like hats. I got military hats. I got Yushankas and Politkas from Russia. Sniper helmets. Yeah, I've... I've been involved in some pretty pretty cool projects that kind of uh a lot of them just kind of fall out of the sky. Just right time, right place. <laughs> oh here we go. Oh come on, is it what the fuck is that? That is awesome. <laughs> that is insane. I see like angel wings and like a something is that in a bunch of blood? <laughs> When are you going to go all schizophrenic and all your art comes to haunt you? Oh, yeah, that day is coming for sure. <laughs> you know, I just, maybe, maybe that's what it is. I've never done drugs, never smoked a cigarette, I drink, that's it. But I've never done any, like, real hard drugs to, like, influence my art, and, and I don't really think I need it, but you tell me. Not like I'll listen to you and do drugs, but. <laughs> but we talked about this the other night. Yeah, I just uh happy to have this imagination. Don't really give a fuck where it came from. Glad it's sticking around. And I am not schizophrenic. Mm, not yet. At least Bill doesn't think so.
I have a huge head, <laughs> so I don't wear hats often. <laughs> Did you say you had dreads too, or? Because my buddy Vincent dreads everywhere, and yeah, him with a hat on is pretty ridiculous. It's hysterical. It's hysterical. Yeah, it's it just doesn't fit. <laughs> People at my art school thought I did drugs. Yeah, well, I thought everybody at art school did drugs. That's why they're at art school. <laughs> they're just there to get the good drugs. <laughs> oh, wait, I can get an education too? <laughs> I was unaware. What art school did you go to? Dreads don't help. <laughs> no, they don't, do they? They don't help. Wearing hats, being able to wear a hat. That's why I brought up Vincent. <laughs> Paint challenge. Sean numbs his hands to do art. <laughs> oh, you think I can't paint with numb hands? Maybe I will. Let me get a hammer. <laughs> Now, I did have a, who brought it into the bar once? We were in New Orleans and somebody had a can of just spray Novocaine. So we just started spraying each other's tongues and, and just making out with girls. and <laughs> That's always fun. Well, the one time that I did it. But I'm like, where do you get that? And why was I so trusting that somebody was spraying something in my <laughs> mouth? <laughs> It was quite odd, but that's what you do when you're a guy in your 20s. <laughs> Nothing useful. <laughs> Community College for Graphic Design. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. They do do drugs for uh, uh, in community college. So. <laughs> now, you know what? You did it upright. You'll learn the same shit for about 30% of the price, right? I'm telling you, some of those, I don't understand why people pay $100,000. I mean, unless it's some hardcore animation or, you know, when, when you're not going to have access to, like, a million-dollar rendering, rendering machine or whatever. But for just painting, in my case, like, you're not getting my money. I, di I didn't go to art school. I just, I self-published my first comic when I was 15, sold 400 copies, and I went, all right, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm out of here. Yeah, hey, that's a good quote. Remnant of the moon. You're not only too poor, you're too smart. There you go. You're one of the smart ones. <laughs> yeah. If it had a business course, now I'm going to pitch this and preach this till the day I die. But if art schools had a business a minor in business that would come with your art degree, that would be worth it. Teach me how to make money if I spend money with you. It's, it's what I tell a lot of trade shows when they're like, oh, you know, it's like where, you know, how, oh, there's competing trade shows or competing conventions or whatnot. And, and I'm like, dude, get some people in here. So when people are in here buying shit for their stores, they can learn how, how to sell it better. You know, so yeah, if art school had a business course. Oh shit, that coffee's hot. Then, uh, you know, I think the value would just skyrocket. I feel so good now. Damn right. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's one of those things where like, you know, what do you do when you're coming out of high school? Like, and everybody's like, you want to be an artist? Got to go to art school. And because, it, you know, to do it on your own is completely insane and but fun. But it is very hard to figure out, like, well, how, you know, what what's step one? Like, even when I quit 13 years ago, like, right, uh, I wanted to be self-employed before I turned 30, so I, uh, my 29th, when I was 29 years old, I quit, quit the mortgage, mortgage company, and, uh, that I was working at, I got, um, I had a huge, like, $10,000 deal go through, and I, um, had my first children's book contract 
And so this was after Sony. So I said, you know, even then, I, I had been in the industry, I had been practicing, I had books out, I probably had six books out, but still, day one of self-employed, I was like, uh, what do I do? <laughs> I like got up that morning, I'm like, I'm going to make some eggs and toast and have coffee, and then sit in front of the computer, and uh, so what the fuck do I do? I don't understand. I'm self-employed. Like, who's going to tell me what to do? Oh, yeah, that was the point. So very scary stuff, but very possible and, you know, and it's more of just surrounding yourself with people that'll, uh, that'll help you get things accomplished as well. I mean, even now I, I, you know, I turned 42 in a couple weeks and I do pretty well. I'm, I'm working with a lot of big festivals and a lot of big companies right now. And, but I'm, uh, still seeking out like mentorship. You know, I'm, I'm turning my studio into something that's going to, uh, the end game is to be a one-stop shop where you as an artist can come to my studio and I can help you with printing costs. Like if you don't, if you want to get prints made, what do you do? Well, I've got that contact. You want to get your shit printed on products. I can do that. You want dist to distribute it. I can do that. Uh, you want this guy to make music for a time lapse. He can do that. But just one-stop shop that handles all the business and all the manufacturing for artists. There's nothing like that out there, and I would like to be the first guy to create that. So, so right now, I'm actually seeking business mentors and whatnot, um, you know, to help walk me through uh, how that would be accomplished. So, and I, I, I just, you know, that's my end game. Painting pretty pictures and selling them for a lot of money, I've done that. I need to do something more. I need this, to, I need this legacy to uh, leave something more behind than just a bunch of canvases and a dead guy. So... I would actually love to interview, you know, and eventually I will, uh, I will be looking for interns and, you know, I'll be expanding across the country and I'll need people and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, when that time comes, I'll post something, I'm sure, on, on Twitch and in my site and whatnot and, you know. And especially, I mean, why wouldn't I draw from Twitch? I, I got people here that are actually watching me, so they're getting to know me and, and know my style and how I work and whatnot, so... I just got to get rid of some life issues from stopping me. Yeah, yeah. Kill him. Bury him in the backyard. Call me. <laughs> Put a little less fun. <laughs> yeah, and that's, you know, and that's especially if you're going to make that leap and be an artist and whatnot, it's, it's, I think I was telling, uh, I think I was telling you, right, Kyron Art, uh, your, your whole life has to warp around being an artist, you know. Like, my art career has destroyed many things, most of them beautiful in my life. I said that quote many years ago, and I truly believe it. And, um, but now that I'm, you know, I'm off and running, and I've been married uh, seven years. i got two great kids, you know, and, and, and she's super supportive, you know, and that is really what it comes down to. My wife's super creative. She does sculpture. She, you know, so she kind of gets it, which is good. And she was dating me when I was making, like, $500 a month as an artist, and I'm like, uh... If you can stick with someone like that, then you're cool. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Thank you. I love that. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean, it's it's all about like just, you know, and it doesn't mean go out and shit on everybody and everything. It's just like, it's just got to be your show for a while. If you want to make it as an artist, it's just, you know. Oh, people are going to get so fucking sick of hearing about you being an artist. And look what I did. and that, But it's so cool on your end. And that's okay. Because it's worth it in the end. It's very much worth it. The perks are amazing. And the cool thing about being an artist is no matter how many rich people are in the room, when you walk in and they know you're the artist, they all turn to you. Because they know you got the fun life. You're doing something cool. Something they wish they could do. Because it's, you know... It's, it's primal. I mean, it's embedded in them. Like, everybody drew as a kid, you know, and everybody loved it. You know, everybody colored. Everybody did something, whether it was for a brief moment. But that's... And usually the rich people in the room gave up on that thing they loved. Yeah. They could make money. Yep. And like Sugar said, usually the rich people in the room gave up on the thing that they loved in order to make money. And when they see someone who actually like put the time and the effort and the insanity and insane amount of time to uh, to pull off an art career, then they know, you know, they they absolutely know. 
uh, what you what you staked, and they wish they could have done it. Making money is easy. Or is the easy part. <laughs> Style, ideas, balance, because most of you are, you know, just like me, I had a day job and I had to create a comic book and, but, you know. <clears throat> uh, your wife is a real one. Oh, yeah, 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 she's the real deal. <laughs> Almost six foot tall redhead. She is a badass. Minnesota. I live in Minnesota. Oh, all right. The North Pole of America. Nice. Uh, yeah. Sugar knows all about Minnesota. <laughs> the city I live in so poor, lawyers have a hard time making money. Whoa. Does that exist? <laughs> So does that literally mean everybody else in the town like trades goats and chickens for shit? Or that's crazy. <laughs> well, you know what? There's always moving. There's always traveling. There's always always ways to get out. You just gotta, you know. Ninety percent of the time it has nothing to do with like I can't get out of the town or whatever. It has to do with like you're just not like taking those steps. You're attached to something. Yeah. Like, if my parents kicked me out, I was like, fuck no, later. Or, fuck yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Jeez, like, people can eat, uh, can what? Oh, a living, but there's not much wealth here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the town I live in, it's it's... We're on an island, you know, I'm 70 miles south of Vancouver, I'm, I'm about 75 from Seattle, 16,000 people. We have a refinery, and that's where a lot of people, may, you know, make their living. So we do have a, a disparity here, because we are one of those cute little towns in the northwest on a beautiful island, blah, blah, blah. So there, there's a lot of money up here, and then there is a lot of not money up here. So, but those opportunities are there. But we have a very large tourism industry so I mean a lot of the, the wealth here is new vacation homes and shit like that so but it's just so damn beautiful <clears throat> oh yeah let's check this out welder what do we got oh no shit is this... oh there we go oh that's awesome Natalie I like the name. The girl in my first comic book is Natalie. It's funny, I was in Pittsburgh at the time. I was drawing at this coffee shop. And every, everybody, at that point, I knew most of the people there. And everybody was, oh, it's a comic guy, da, 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 working on my book. And this girl came up, and she was super cute. Little red-headed Russian girl or whatever. She's like, I want to be in your comic, but I want to be in control. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so the main... Uh, uh, female lead in, in the book is named Natalie. So sometimes you never know where, you know, where you're going to get that name for that character. But cool little way, too, to kind of keep it, you know, that, that's like a nice little journalistic piece of, of my life. Yeah. Memphis is depressing during the day, but magical at night. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of tourism there, too, I'm assuming, and kind of in that in that belt the music. Uh, I'm going to detail this. We'll drop the eyeballs in, do the white and gray. And then I got just, what, tentacles, buds, and then drop in the wallpaper. So, we're well, doing pretty good. I've only been on for two hours, 20 minutes. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. I feel like I've been... Well, we've had some good conversations tonight, so... It feels like I've been on for, like, five hours. <coughs> I have not. And my my hydration bot hasn't told me anything, that bastard. <laughs> it hasn't been three hours yet. Oh, I thought it was uh, every hour it told you. Oh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Could be. 
<laughs> Again, another thing about the channel I just don't pay attention to. <laughs> Probably no. Fucking Catalobio is rocking out over there with the left arm. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Let's move him here so you guys can see. Boom. I just got to put him on this side so I don't splash too much ink on him. Catalobio, that's his name. We named him the other day. So this is this is Mikalobio. So I just started doing these hand cast resin figures of my characters. So this is my space alien dude that's in a the aliens that are in this tapestry here. So I got a buddy in LA that does the characters. So he casts the head first. That way I can paint it, and then we do the flying saucer. <laughs> But that's Mikalobio, so we decided to name our cat uh, Catalobio. Real fucking original, but, you know, it works. Cat, cat rock. That, that could be cock paw. Cock paw! I, I can have uh, Rachel, like, put a dickhead on the, uh, <laughs> on the arm with, like, paper mache or something. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh, you want your luck to change? <laughs> Don't you be put... Put a cock on my paw. Yeah. Put a cock on my paw and see what happens to you. <laughs> yeah, I want to get into doing more of those figures. They're, uh, I haven't had a chance to paint any of them up. I had 12 of them cast uh, at first, and, and then... um just to test them out for tour or whatnot, and I, I just only had a chance to paint one up, but, uh, but I have a whole slew of characters I'd love to make into, like, little figures like that. A lot of my old comic book characters, and I think they'd lend themselves pretty well. Remnant of the Moon, thank you. I have earned the following of the black dreaded Viking warrior Queen of the Battle Axe. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta check out your Instagram in depth a little more when I get a chance. Yeah. And sugar is smashing a sacred edible in your name. <laughs> A black metal edible. <laughs> it does have a rune. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, look, see that? Boom. The THC medallion of love. No? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's like this thing. I don't know. It looks like Microsoft clip art, and then they wrote THC in the middle. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Bill Gates was playing D&D, &D and he's like, these would make great clip art. <laughs> oh, Warhammer 40K. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're hyping her up. <laughs> she says, man, y'all are hyping me up. <laughs> well, you know what? If you don't heed the art advice, I hope you at least have a good time in this room <laughs> or on this channel. Because I like, you know, like, if you guys know Journeyman, that guy is pure insanity on his channel, and I love it. He, he just dropping F-bombs and talking and, and just going off about his projects, and, you know, I like streams like that where there's an actual, like, pulse to it, so... <laughs> 